Hi ladies, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Hold on, <laughs> one second. <laughs> one second ladies, I'm coming. I'm back. <laughs> okay, for, for those of you who are watching the replay, thank you for sticking um, through. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, so good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. As you see the title of today's video, or depending on where the title is, um, is I Change My Name um, and Confession Time because it's Fearless Fearless Friday. So I'm so excited to come on here with you guys. I'm a little distracted by the phone, sorry about that. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited to come on here because like, Yesterday some of you if you follow if you like my Facebook page, you would have gotten a notification from Facebook saying Miss Inspirer changed her name to Chenille ah! <laughs> And it's so funny because quite a few people messaged me like one person messaged me. She's in this group um, She's in this community and she messaged me and she's like Were you hacked? <laughs> like, No <laughs> Somebody has messaged me and said, oh my gosh, you changed your name. I love it, right? So I was getting all this feedback. So I decided that today's Fierce Fearless Friday video is going to be about why I changed it. Hi, Keisha. Um, welcome, my darling. I'm going to be sharing why I changed it, um, what it means going forward. It actually doesn't mean anything different going forward. I'm still going to be the same person. Um, hey, girl. Um, but I'm going to share with you why I changed it, and I'm going to share with you the power of even just your name <coughs> excuse me so the power of the name and so for me right when I came up with the name Miss Inspirer it started for me when I was a teenager that was actually my Insta my Twitter handle I was a teenager I was like 18 probably or or something um, and that was my Twitter name because for me what have you changed oh my name Keisha so if you are watching this video um, ladies and you don't um, like my Facebook page go search for Chanille on Facebook and you will see the business page it will say public figure Chanille and then you can make sure you like the page right because this is what I'm talking about today and so I'm gonna be sharing why hi Shankia hi darling I'm gonna be sharing why I changed it um, and a little bit of insight about the power of stepping fully into yourself and how it actually helps you to up level your life and your business and so if you haven't liked my facebook page you probably don't know what i'm talking about so head on over there and like the page and then you will you would you would see but everybody who liked it before facebook would have sent you a message saying chanil changed her name oh thank you keisha yes you love my hair thank you um i curled it up just for this video <laughs> specifically for this video um so Chanel, okay, so before my name was Miss Inspire, it came from the fact that I was a teenager. I had a, a Twitter account, my Twitter handle was Miss Inspire because I was like, what I would do when I started was to share inspiring quotes. You know, I was studying to be a social worker, helping change people's lives, and so for me, everything for me was about this inspiration, personal development. And I was doing it, there was no obligation on me, there was nobody, no expectation. I was able to just express that part of myself and just be Miss Inspirer. Now, what also happened was I had another Twitter account, which was called, um, I will not tell you what it is called because it probably still exists, but that was the other part of myself, the, the tough love, the like get to the point, like, you know, like on the ball, snapping, like version of myself. But then I also had another version of myself that my friends knew and they call me Shan. Right, Shan. Everybody in Jamaica, all people who care about me, like my family members, friends, everybody calls me Shan, Shan, like Shan, everybody, everybody, Shan, Shan, we need to talk about this Shan, right? So that's another version of myself. Then I had the version of myself that was the academic, like master, three masters, not one, not two, no, but three masters degrees, you know, traveling all over the world and working with governments and in politics and all these things. And so that was the part of myself that, you know, that was the Chanel Stewart, you know, that, you know, professors would call me that, or, you know, uh, people would joke and say, Dr. Stewart, or um, one of my, one of the deans of one of my universities actually said, future prime minister, future prime minister of Jamaica, you know, and joked around. You can relate, right, Shankia? Absolutely. So 
and and I'm sharing, and this is why I'm sharing this because it's confession time. It's fierce, fearless Friday. Like I preach, um, putting it out there, and I have no no problem sharing this. And I know that somebody, whether listening to this live or the replay, will relate to this. And so for me, I have all these as um, aspects of myself. And then, like if you ask my family members, they'll tell you you also have the moody version of myself, right? As well. So I have all these aspects. And because I took my entire business and I framed it around Miss Inspirer, I felt as if it was boxing me in. I felt like I couldn't get to be all of me. And for me, as a visibility strategist, it is so important for me to be all of myself because in my sessions with my clients um, later this year I have a live event coming up in May in London I'm gonna be having my first live event um, that I'm putting on I've you know sp spoken at events before but I'm gonna be hosting this one and for me in that event the transformational work I'm doing with people is helping them to step into their best selves and for me to help them to do that I need to put all of those pieces of me into one which is my name Chanel <laughs> okay when you say Chanel you're gonna get inspiration you're still gonna get motivation you're gonna get some tough love yes some butt kicking because let's face it guys I am not gonna pet you and tell you oh yes just just keep thinking about it no get off your butt and take action so you'll get that part of me. You'll get the part of me that's funny and crazy and quirky. You'll get my Jamaican girl, you know, my, you know the accent. And you'll get that flair, the Caribbean um, charm, right? You'll get everything. And so Shankia needed this. Absolutely, Shankia. <laughs> Perfect. I'm so glad that you're relating to this and you're connecting with this. And everybody else who's watching this live or the replay, comment below. Let me know what you're getting from this. Let me know if you have different parts of yourself and which ones you've been hiding, which ones you've been putting um, above the others and what you plan to do to to balance it like one action that's gonna be that that symbol that says I'm going to step fully into all of myself and so I mean I've always been Chanel I was both that's my name right I'm Chanel Stewart and the reason I didn't say change it to Chanel Stewart is because I mean hello you never know when you get married and you know you may change your name and you know all these kinds of things <laughs> You've been struggling with your identity as well. Okay, you know what, Shankia? I'm glad that you're here and you're, you're sharing this because I will be doing um, other videos that will be like a spin-off of this topic. So make sure that you're here. Make sure that you're um, signed up and subscribed for the notifications so you're getting the videos, um, whether here in my Facebook group, on YouTube, or on my Facebook page. Make sure you're, you're subscribed so you can get those, um, those tips as well. And so... You really want to incorporate all of yourself. You want to bring all of you in. And and it's so funny because, you know, if you're multi-passionate, I see we have some more people jumping on. Thank you so much for being here. If you missed the first part, you can go ahead and catch the replay. You don't want to miss it. Definitely go ahead and, and watch it because it's something that we can all relate to. Um, and so you want to make sure that you are being all of yourself. And so for me and where my business, and I'm not going to say business, for me and where my company is going this year for the like the next 18 months where where my company is going and I say company because I've brought on a few team members recently and we're expanding we're growing like we've been creating all these new structures we're gonna be hosting as I said a live event in May um, I'm thinking of doing something in Greece later on in the year as well so all these different things and up leveling is happening and that cannot happen from the place of me boxing myself in and so Miss Inspire is not gone she's still a part of me she's still always going to be here but I will go by Chanel right now okay so you can still call me Miss Inspire if you want <laughs> but if you search for Miss Inspire on any social media platform you will not find her um, she's not there anymore so go f if you are not following me on social media my my handle on all platforms is the t-h-e chanel s-h-a-n-e-i-l and that's because somebody took chanel already so i had to just go with the chanel which is fine um so i'm the chanel on all platforms instagram twitter now um facebook linkedin and um, I'm getting my name changed on YouTube as well. You want to come to Greece? Mm, good. So I will be taking um, a poll and seeing like how many people are interested in doing an event there because that's where I'm going to have an event as well. Um, but it may be, I'm, I'm still considering, it may just be for people who are in my, my upcoming mastermind. So it will depend. But keep your ears um, listening, you know, keep, keep a listen out for that because 
big things are coming. We're, 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 we're turning the game up, ladies. And take this as my, my encouragement to you. Figure it out. You don't have clarity right now? Figure it out. Like, sit, pray about it, journal about it, meditate about it, but make a decision as to who you choose to show up as, how you're going to be showing up, and commit to it. And when I say this, I say this with the most love in my heart for you because, believe me, this isn't something that I made the decision to do just yesterday. I didn't just do it spur of the moment, right? A year ago, over a year ago, I actually tried to change my name to Chanel Stewart and Facebook wouldn't let me. It wouldn't let me change my name. And I'm like, Facebook, but that is my real name. Let me change it. And they wouldn't let me change it. And so I kept the Miss Inspire. And I think it was great for where I was in, at that moment in my business and in my, my life and in my company. And I think that was good. And I attracted a lot of catalysts and a lot of women like you Shankia and like you Keisha because I know that you ladies are up to big things and other women who are going to be watching this replay you guys are up to big things my clients are absolute like they care so much about changing this world and standing out and you know putting their message out there and that to me is important and I think that that name Miss Inspire was important to get me to this level and I think where I'm going now there has to be an, an up level and so for you what, what I did I journaled, I prayed, I fasted. Yes, I went on fasting. Um, <laughs> and what, what was the answer for me was um, night before last night, I went to bed and I said, because I get a lot of dreams, right? When I, when I get inspiration, my programs come from dreams. My, um, my brand comes from my dreams. Any, like a lot of the actions I take, the most successful ones are things that come to me while I'm sleeping. Whew so blessed um, emails I write that get like high open rates and high clicks um, you know they come from from my dreams and so I slept I went to bed and before I went to bed I said God tell me in my dream or at least give me a clear sign while I'm sleeping when I wake up as to what to do next whether to keep Miss Inspire or move forward with um, with, with something else and it was funny because even when I slept and I woke up I didn't get the message and, and sometimes you're gonna ask for inspiration and you're not gonna get it immediately and I did not get the message immediately and I woke up but I wasn't stressed about it and I was doing my morning um, what you call it like you know you do your morning practice your reading and stuff and I was listening to an audio from one of my mentors and I just remember him saying it was like it's a man and he said just be yourself just be you and I'm like ah! confirmation just be you just be Chanel just be you yeah and then voila I just went and I updated everything and um, yeah so <laughs> just be you um, you have permission be yourself ladies no need to try to fit into a mold or fit into a box um, yeah and so and I thought to myself as well you know with the not putting my last name I was like well you got Oprah you got Beyonce you got Chanel <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Do you have any questions at all? Um, please start, start typing them in and let me just answer them for you. And if you're watching this replay, type your questions in any way. Let me answer them for you. Let me support you with this. I can't wait to see what questions come up or what comments come up. Shankia says, loving this. So true. Awesome, Shankia. So, yeah. If there are no questions, I'm going to be, you know, going going on to the next task on my list for today um but if that is it thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching love you guys a lot Mwah! kisses peace and love to you ciao